angles. Definition of angles, elements of an angle, and nature of angles. Let us start with the definition of an angle. What's an angle? An angle is the, the space between two intersecting half lines. AX and AY are intersecting half lines. They intersect at A. A is called the vertex of the angle. And this is the space between them. You see this yellow part? This is the space. This is the angle. Let's see examples of angles in real life. This is an angle. Here we have many angles. Here we have many angles. Here we have four angles. These are special angles. We will talk about them later. Here we have five angles. Now let's talk about elements of an angle. First we have the vertex. The vertex is a point. It is the intersection point of the half lines of AX and AY. Next we have the sides. The sides are two half lines, AX and AY. They intersect at the vertex A. Now let's continue. If I ask you to give me the name of this angle, you start by, by writing X, the edge X, then you say the vertex A, then you say the other edge Y. So X, A, Y, or you can say Y, A, X. You can give one of these names. One of them is enough. This is why we say or. One of them, okay? And you put a hat above the name. This is the symbol for angles. So let's repeat. If I ask you to write the name of this angle, you say X, A, Y, or Y, A, X. If I ask you to write the vertex of this angle, you give me one point A. This is the intersection point. If I ask you to give me the sides of this angle, you know that the sides are half lines. They are closed from A, open from X and Y. So they are half lines. So we put brackets and parentheses. Let's see how AX and AY closed at A, open at A, from X, closed at A, open from Y. So these are two half lines, two sides. We say and because we need to give both of them. Or you give one of them and you give both of them. Both of them are sides. Now, nature of an angle. I will remind you that we use the protractor to measure an angle. We will talk about the measure and I will give you all the steps in another video. Now the unit of measure is the degree. The symbol is a floating bubble. You see a flying bubble above the number. This is the symbol for degree. For example, you have 90 degree. It's the measure of a right angle. Yes. Um, so we will talk about that later. Now, nature of an angle. We have many cases. Let's start first with the zero angle or the null angle. The measure is zero degrees, so this is the zero angle. It is closed. It didn't open at all. Now next we have the acute, which is very cute. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. It is less than the right angle. The right angle is here perpendicular to OX and OI is less than the right angle. The right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. We have two perpendicular lines that make a right angle. Now, an obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees. You see 90 is here perpendicular and this is more than 90 degrees. And less than the, this one. This one is called straight angle. Now, the straight angle. The straight angle here, X, O, Y, measures exactly 180 degree and if we have points you can say that x o and y are collinear now let's repeat a zero angle o x and o y are coincident the measure is zero degree so you see how they are coincident these two half lines are coincident but for coincident half lines we have another case the other case is called a full angle, a full angle that makes a full rotation and go back to its place. You see, so here also they are coincident, but the measure is a full rotation. It's 360 degree. 
like the circle, 360 degree. They draw this like a circle to show that we have a full rotation. Now for a right angle, the sides of a right angle are perpendicular and the measure is 90 degree. Remember to put the hat always, okay? 90 degree, you see the symbol degree? You can check that you have a right angle using the set square or using the protractor and find that the measure is 90 degree. Now an acute angle, you see it is what? It is less than the right angle. It, the measure is between 0 and 90 degree. It can be 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree, 70 degree, less than 90 degree. You see how it's less than 90 degree? Now, an obtuse angle is more than the right angle and less than the straight angle. More than the right, less than the straight. So it is between 90 degree and 180 degree. For example, 120 degree, 110, 105, 101, 176, whatever, between 90 degree and 180 degree. Now, a straight angle. The sides of a straight angle are opposite to each other. X O Y equal 180 degree. You see how they are opposite? O X this way, O Y that way. And if we have points here, we say that X O and Y are collinear points. And the measure here is 180 degree. You see how you have a straight line, a straight angle. And this is the last nature. And we're done here. Thanks for watching.